The Taxpayer's Bill of Rights has a pretty simple rule of thumb for lawmakers. If you want to raise taxes or borrow money, you have to ask voters for permission. That's it. Pretty democratic, right? Instead, something weird happened. Lawmakers almost never ask, but that hasn't stopped the state from charging the public more. I'm Brian Neeson with Denver Post Politics. After 25 years of Tabor, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle say that the landmark constitutional amendment has had some unintended side effects. One of them is this. Lawmakers are so reluctant to ask voters for more money that governing has become this complicated exercise in finding ways around asking. So what do they do instead? Well, they raise fees, they eliminate tax breaks, and they take out mortgages on state buildings. This has some interesting consequences for taxpayers. Fees are inherently more aggressive than taxes. That means they hit the poor and middle classes harder than the rich. And these fees haven't been able to keep up with the cost of government. Most Republicans say the state just needs to prioritize better and pump more money into roads and schools instead of, say, Medicaid. Democrats say there's nothing left to cut, that in the Tabor era, revenues just haven't kept up with the needs of a growing state. The 22 cent gas tax is a great example of this. It hasn't been raised since 1991, the year before Tabor was passed, but construction costs have only gone up since then. So why not let the public decide? Well, many conservatives think that asking is just as bad as voting to raise taxes themselves, and Democrats aren't at all confident that voters will say yes. So instead, lawmakers on both sides come up with creative ways around Tabor to avoid asking voters.